Yo, what's up, gentlemen? So in this video, I'm going to be going low tech. All right. I'm happy to announce that I will be doing daily videos for you guys. So some days it'll be a four minute video, but it's just going to be super value packed. So any of your, any of your cousins, Larry, Jerry, Justin, any of those guys that like haven't gotten a date in like months, make sure you send them these videos. It's going to really help them. All right. Um, and also for you, like just keep tuning in every single day. I'm going to try to post every single day at 10 AM CST. I've just decided I'm going to run it. All right. Um, so I want to talk about the Travis Kelsey Taylor Swift thing, because if you are not in America, this is a very, very big thing. So Taylor Swift, obviously very famous. Um, she's dating uh, the tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs, who is arguably one of the greatest tight ends of all time. Well, he is, but, you know, arguably the greatest tight end of all time. And the thing with this is that Travis Kelsey is putting on a masterclass in dating dynamics. And it's not just hypergamy, because the thing is that Taylor has dated if you look at like her dating history, I'm going to walk you through it. All right. My, my wife loves this stuff. So I'm, I'm super into it. All right. She has dated guys that are richer, more famous and more successful than Travis. Okay. So it is not just the best man you can get. All right. It is a combination of masculinity, being in touch with your emotions, being able to be fun, being able to be that, that kind of like guy that can spike her emotions, make her feel something. All right. You can't just be successful. You can't just be really just like a good dude. You can't just be fun to be around. You have to be all of it. Ugh. You have to be all of it. Assuming you want to date a girl like Taylor Swift, right? Like if you want to date like a, a girl that is like very high quality, right? Like top tier girl, like she's very attractive, uh, has a lot going for her in her life. Um, if you want that, then you do have to have a very high level of all this stuff. And, and hopefully you can pull away from this what the difference is between the, these guys. Okay. So these are all of, well, not all <laughs> there. There's been a few, right? She's like 35, but, um, these are some of Taylor Swift's boyfriends. Okay. If you look at Taylor Swift's past boyfriends, they're all soft boy, feminine, like not, not super feminine, right? Like a lot of them are still very attractive. Like Harry Styles is very attractive to a lot of women. A lot of women really like him. Um, but he is, you know, a lot of these guys, they're kind of skinny. They're like, you know, uh, artsy. They're very like kind of emo, emo adjacent, right? And a lot of guys want to be this like, oh, I'm like this artistic, sensitive soul, okay? That is half of it. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to prove, I have links in the description to Travis's podcast so you can kind of see that he has this side to him, right? Very in touch with his feminine side, which I know is a massive, uh, it's a massive red flag for you red pill alpha males out there. But it's actually really, really important to be in touch with the emotional side of yourself so that you can express it in a very strong and attractive way. All right. So this is her dating timeline. Okay. It's just, just a bunch of soft boys. All right. And uh, most recently she broke up with this dude uh, for like six years or something. I think it's this guy in the middle. I don't actually know what he looks like to be fair. I should know his name was Joe. All right. And uh, they broke up and it was not a good time at the end. She lost feelings, whatever. Uh, I've been walked through repeatedly that she lost feelings for him based on everything that she's written in her albums. Okay. So that's very important <laughs> to know uh, is that she's very public about like, basically I felt nothing. All right. I was not into it at all anymore. Okay. Enter Travis Kelsey. Okay. This guy, he is a Chad. Okay. He's six, four. He's Jack. He's one of the most successful football players of all time. All right. That's awesome. Cool. And that's part of what makes this different. Okay. But he also has these soft boy characteristics and I'm going to show you, uh, well, I won't show you, but I'm going to, I'm going to tell you to go down in the link, uh, in the description and watch for yourself. He's a very funny guy and he's very expressive. He's very charismatic. Okay. And this is a very key distinction. He's also very, um, I don't know, like he has some soft boy qualities to him, but he's very, very masculine. Okay. So it's not just the fact he plays football. It's also the fact that he has very traditional masculine traits. Like I'm going to protect the woman I'm with. I'm going to be focused on my grind. If you ever see, like, I'll see some clips of him after games uh, and like Taylor comes up to him and he'll show her a lot of love, focus on her for a second. And then he's back to like what he's doing. He's on his mission. He's on his purpose. It's very, very attractive traits. These things, and this is coming from a Taylor Swift fan, my wife, right? If any Taylor Swift fan, They'll all tell you that's well, if, if they know what they're talking about, that like this time is different, right? 
And it actually is different as someone that's like an expert in this. It actually is different in the sense that he is a Chad, but he's also not just a Chad. He has this podcast, New Heights, with his brother, Jason. It's very, very good. Like it's very, like, it's clear that he's funny. He's really quick. He's kind of artsy. He kind of dresses. I wasn't planning on doing this, but uh, Travis Kelsey uh, style. Okay. He kind of dresses wild, right? Like he'll dress super like crazy and stuff. So he has these like soft boy traits. Okay. And that is really important. He has texture to his personality. That's the most attractive thing. And that's why I think this relationship will last a very long time because he has all these things. Okay. He's not just a chat. Yeah. He's a chat. He's an alpha male football. Okay. He's playing football. He's a fucking look at this guy. Abs absolute peak alpha male. Okay. Peak alpha male. All right. But also dresses a little bit, a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit weird, a little bit quirky, right? A little, little off. Okay. Kind of some feminine shit to him. And that gives him personality. That gives him quirks, right? You want the quirky shit. That's really, really important. All right. So if there's anything you take away from this, it's that uh, she's not just like this whole thing isn't happening just because Travis Kelsey, Chad, it's because, and it's, it's very important in the context of, you know, if this relationship lasts, it just proves my point of you need to have these really strong masculine traits, but you also need to have some soft boy shit. The problem is that these guys are little, they're little Hollywood soft boys. Okay. They're little celebrity soft boys. They're all, you know, no, no real like hardened masculine shit to them. Okay. They're all, mm, oh, I'm pouty and I'm moody. Right. This guy this is the type of guy you want to see, right? He'll cry on camera. He'll be like, man, today was special. I want a Super Bowl. I'm crying, right? But he's also like, dude, I'm having a good time. I'm funny. And he's also fucking this guy, dude. Wait. He's also this guy, okay? Fucking alpha male, all right? He's also that guy, okay? Take that for what you will. See you guys next one. Peace.